make it so it, it goes in the database. So that way we can get all this information inside the database. All right. And at the same time, it would be also good to put it inside our server. Right. So let's do that. Let's actually um, comment all this out and you can make comments, guys. You can make your comments on what each of this stuff is doing. I'm showing it to you right now, but I want you to do that with me so that way you can have these files or these features available. All right. All right. Cool. So what I want to do is I want to say because this is a post controller and we are also if you look at our migration there is only I think we only doing the title we're putting information in the title so let's let's actually take a look at our PHP admin real quick so that way we can get a little refresher on PHP my admin a little refresh on what our tables look like at this point our post table all right post table has the title and the content right okay that's fine and he's admin but we don't need all that information I just gonna we're just gonna do the title in this in this case okay so what I want to do is and what we what I want you to do is do request all we're gonna put this in a variable just like we did before okay so we now we have the request of the whole form inside here cool now what we need to do now that we have this is we need to find out if we have a file all right so we can say something like this if and I'm gonna sign a variable right in the if statement to it right away all right which I think it's uh, pretty cool right all right so if this file exists all right I want you to execute the following functions right I'm gonna get the name all right and the name is going to be file uh, get a really original client name all right so once we have the name of the file then we can do other things with it right well we want to move the file first all right we want to move that file somewhere so now this move function or, or method all right takes two parameters it's gonna we're gonna give it two parameters the first parameter is going to give it where the file is going to right the location of the file where it's going to and then of course it takes the name of the file okay now I want you to uh, listen to this this function will create an images folder if you don't already have it all right if for some reason it does is not able to create an images folder you need to give it some permissions to do it okay but it will create an images folder right now for us so right now if you go to our um, public directory we don't have images folder here so this images folder will be created right here in this public directory because images should be a uh, these images that we are uploading here should be public right At, uh, accessible to everybody in this case okay cool so once we move it we also want to access the input variable now right and as a matter of fact this should be the name of the column inside your database so if you don't have and I think we're gonna have to do that but if you don't have a column to put the picture path in there you, it won't work all right so let's create that real quick let's create a migration for it all right okay let's clear this out there we go all right really cool stuff really fast PHP artisan make migration and the migrations name is going to be add uh, path column to post okay there we go we are referencing the post table all right you should know how to do that already and if we go to our let's go to our database migrations and it should be the last one here actually it's not the last one for some reason well it should be let me synchronize this real quick there we go all right cool so now we come here with a table and this is going to be a string and we're gonna name it path you can name it file if you want but path is, is a good name for it a lot of people use that 
and of course we want to make sure that we can drop this if we wanted to all right cool now you come back here and you say PHP artisan migrate all right that's migrated so now we have that let's go back to let's close all this and you can see the little red line under HTTP cool stuff right that means something is wrong right and controllers we go here and we find where the problem is and that's where it is right cool I love PHP storm but anyway so once you have that let's change this because that's this is where the column name will be all right and we gotta assign the name to it like this remember we assign from the right to left of course all right so once we have that all we gotta do down here is say you know what post I need you to create everything that the input has all right now I don't want you to forget something all right right now we're forgetting something and we don't want to do that well I'm not forgetting but you might be forgetting remember that we created a new column and now when we use this method create that's going to be um, you know mass assignment would be a problem a lot of it would not allow us to to edit this column unless we give it permission so we need to go to that post all right and let it know that it's okay it's okay Larabelle you can and let's actually put all this on top we don't have that many um, we don't have so many that we cannot put it in one line all right and then we're gonna say path here okay cool so now if we go to that post let's go right here now let's see what kind of errors we get if we get any I haven't really checked uh, double checked I just want to get an error so that way we can fix it you know guys I if you've taken my courses from the past you know I love to see errors anyway CMS create and here I'm gonna say PHP I'm gonna choose whatever file comes to my mind and create Jeez, no no errors that's not good <laughs> let's go to post and as you can see right here we got a path but we also have the name of that image right here okay as you can see right there in that new column pretty cool stuff right all right so now that we re we were able to persist data into the database we were able oh and one thing that I haven't showed you is that if we go to public uh, let's see where public right here let's actually synchronize this real quick I don't I don't know if that move function worked so let's synchronize this and as you can see yes the images folder has been created as well and if you look at it the code the image name is there as well now if you don't want to keep getting the same image over and over again what you can do is you can add time to it all right you can add the time and you're gonna have a different image all the time now we can also uh, what we can use is use a mu mutator or use an accessor um, for either getting the path of the image already uh, in the database so that way every time you echo out the path you have the whole path or what you can do is uh, mutate it I mean access it in a different way in the next lecture we're gonna take a look at how we can make each image unique and how we can you know use a mutator or accessors to actually even make it more user friendly when it comes to um, displaying the path or you know uh, inputting extra information in the database all right so anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture